am currently sitting at the bus stop to get Anna and Jeff, and I am editing my newest video, and I have realized that I didn't have the radio all the way down when I did do the intro in the car for this video, so this is me um, fixing it. I have the, the volume all the way down, so hopefully you can hear me. I just didn't want a copyright strike. So this video is going to be a grocery haul, um, a restock, and a what's for dinner all in one. I know I just went to the store and did a grocery haul, but um, with the kids being back in school and everything, I'm really trying to shop sales and I am going to have to go to the store more often obviously because I am making the kids lunches. I'm really trying to get into um, meal planning again as in at least just have plans for dinner instead of just kind of winging it. We have plenty of like proteins and meats and stuff in the freezers but I don't have sides and stuff like I can live off of vegetables and just meat but everybody else likes you know like macaroni and cheeses and rice and all that stuff so I'm gonna go well I'm gonna go I, uh, I already went uh, I went to the store and I got stuff for that so got cut off. So um, yeah, I I did all that. Um, me planning me didn't realize that I still had stuff in the trunk. So <laughs> that's a funny moment that I'm gonna include. Um, but hopefully you like this like everything condensed in one. If not, let me know. Um, I am going to try to put like timestamps somewhere. I I still don't know how to do it where you can like flip through and it be in the thing on the actual video. So I'm gonna put it in the description box, box. hopefully that's okay. Um, but if you like all of it being in one, let me know. If not, I can still try doing the what's for dinner separately. I just wanted to be able to kind of condense this video into one and kind of give everybody what they want and hopefully you're okay just flipping. Or if you like all of it, then awesome. Yeah, so. Uh, I'll see you later. I that I had stuff in the trunk. So, um, this, this is my, my life right now. I'll, I'll turn you around so you can see. The struggle of forgetting that you had the donation stuff. And the trunk. Okay, since it's because it's a really, really hot day outside, I need to go ahead and get all my cold stuff on refrigeration. Like, everything is sweating. It is... It's so hot outside. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this, the cold stuff really quick, and then I'll come back and then show you the not perishable. So Jeff needed some chicken nuggets. So I got these. Unfortunately, they weren't on sale, but none of the chicken nuggets were on sale. I needed more eggs. We go through eggs like crazy. Um, I needed pepperoni. I just eat these normally, or I make Jeff like Lunchables kind of thing. Um, I got these. These are on sale. Three for ten. Um, it's nice for when I don't have avocados. And the date was good on them. So I got three of those. I got these. These were a BOGO. So I got both the same thing for a dinner one night. We needed more lettuce. I got a cucumber. This is cilantro for a dinner. Um, I got two things of baby spinach. It was BOGO. Um, I got two things of Borden American Singles. I think they were like two for seven or something. And Anna goes through these like crazy. Um, biscuits were on sale. I got two of the Swiss Hawaiian ones and one of the butter tasting. Uh, we needed salsa for a recipe. I needed sour cream for a recipe. These were on sale, BOGO. I got these, um, two of them. They're both the same thing for Anna. I needed cream cheese for two recipes, actually. So I got two. These were on sale also. I got one of these for just me. There were two for five. I got this one, and I drank this one on the way home. This one, not too good, but I'll drink it. I also got some mushrooms for a recipe. I got some tomatoes. I got two of them. They were on sale. Um, half and half. We go through this like crazy because me and my husband both put it in our coffee. I got bananas. Um, these I got 
eight corn on the cob. These were on the weekend sale. They were four for a dollar. And I got some golden potatoes. These were on sale for $3.99. Okay, here is the non-perishable stuff. Um, I had to get honey wheat bread this week. They didn't have butter bread on sale, and I had to explain to Anna that I was getting what was on sale. So, these were on sale. I believe it was two for five. So, we got two honey wheat. Hopefully, it'll last us the week. I got some water enhancers. I got two pink lemonade for me because I really need to start drinking more water. I need to make my gallon water. This is me commenting to making my gallon water. Remind me of that. Okay. Um, I got my husband two of his orange tangerines. And I also got two wild strawberry. These were on sale, I believe, two for four. And these were two for three, I think. Don't quote me on that. I may be wrong on this. Um, I got little bites. I got two things. These were BOGO, and they're the, the same ones. I got four, if I can hold it the right way, got four Nutrigrain Strawberry. These were BOGO as well. I have four boxes of Lucky Charms. These were BOGO, and I had a dollar off coupon for each box. Same with the Cheerios. I got four. These were BOGO, and I had a dollar off coupon for each box. Um, these were on sale, I believe. These were, they should have all been two for five, I believe. I got a thing of spin wheels. They've never tried these before. So, really, if they don't like these, I will eat them. I haven't had spin wheels in forever. Um, I also got these for them to try to see if they like them. If not, again, I will eat those because <laughs> I love them. Well, so will my husband, but either way, I digress. Um, I got two things of honey buns. These were on the weekend sale, and the kids do like these. Sometimes they eat these for breakfast or just a quick snack when they get home from school. I got four of the Ricerone chickens. These were 10 for 10. Like I said, we're running out of sides. I have, like, no sides besides vegetables, which is fine for me, but for everybody else, not so much. So I got four boxes of those. Cracker Barrel was BOGO, so we got two of the Sharp White Cheddar, and we got four of just the regular Sharp Cheddar. Um, I was running really low on rice, and this was actually on sale, so I went ahead and grabbed it. This was not on sale, unfortunately, but I needed it for the carnitas that I'm making this week. So I went ahead and got a thing. And if we don't eat it all, then I just, I freeze these. Um, I know I have a lot of coffee, and I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, coffee. She just put away a whole bunch. I did, but um, I didn't have this um, kind. I have all Colombian, and I like to switch it up every now and then, so I got two breakfast blends. These were BOGO as well. I got two manwiches. These were on sale 10 for 10, and while I'm not making them this week, they were on sale. And I like to have stuff like this as a just in case if Margo doesn't like what we're eating, she can actually go ahead and make this herself. I got two beef broths. They didn't have the, the no salt ones. I couldn't find it that was on sale. So I went ahead and just kind of grinned and bared it and got these. These were 10 for 10. I need these for a recipe. Um, we were running out of Nutella. Don't tell my son about this yet. He goes through this like crazy, but um, I went ahead and grabbed it. It wasn't on sale, but <laughs> we were out. And Jeff wanted some pickles, so I went ahead and grabbed him a jar of pickles. I got egg noodles for a recipe this week. I got some paper towels because we needed some, and these were on sale. I got one bag of Lay's. Margo's the only one that likes the barbecue. Well, she only likes barbecue Lay's. I have other chips in there that Anna and Jeff will eat, but the only one Margo likes is these, so, or Doritos, and she can't really have Doritos because of her braces, so I got one bag for her. I needed more vinegar, so I got more vinegar. I got more chocolate pudding. I put these in Margo's lunch boxes. I needed more juice pouches for their lunches, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Um, now, this is just normal everyday stuff I guess 
The kids needed more shampoo and conditioner, so I figured we would go ahead and try this out. It smelled good, so we're going to try. Um, I got some Cottonelle flushable wipes. Um, I don't flush these, but, um, I mean, you can if you want. But I have a septic system, and I was told you're not supposed to. Um, I got a thing of Ridex for our septic. Uh, I ran out, so I needed to go ahead and grab another one. Jeff needed batteries for his TV remote, so and he just happened to tell me right before I left. So luckily, I grabbed him because uh, otherwise he would have no remote. So good thing for him telling me that. Um, I got these only because we have no more chip clips. <laughs> they keep breaking them. They keep disappearing, whatever. So now we have some chip clips. Um, I got these and to try to replace my like my little scrubby thing that hold on oh look dishes that i have to do uh to replace this because i need to throw this out but um i'm hoping that i'll like this like it's got a soft side and a scrubby side so we'll see i've never used these before has anybody ever used these i mean they seem like they'll take off like baked on stuff so i'm hopeful um we needed a new grill brush. I threw the other one away. I haven't been able to get a new one yet, but I got this one because it's not wire. Like it doesn't hurt, but it's hard enough that it wouldn't be an issue. And it came with an extra head. So like, I'm not mad at that at all. And this was a buy one, get one 50%. So I got this. Did I need it? No. But, would it make my life a little bit easier? Yes, it would. So, I got that. So, this is everything that I got. You know, minus, minus the cold. Oh, and I got, I got milk. I got milk, too, because we need, we need milk. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Holding on. To what I know, to everything I've learned, what is real and fabricated? What is wrong? What is my problem? What can I get out of this world that I created? Fighting the storms in my head, don't know where I have been. I'm alone, no one to turn to, no one understands. This shit's too complicated. Oh, and I feel like. Tell me nothing. Made it through the rain, the rain. I turn nothing into something. No more dealing with the assumptions. Cause I do what I gotta do, and I know. Oh, oh, oh. Can't nobody do it like me. All they do is judge me for who I might be. Maybe if they took some time to pick my mind, they see that I'm cooler than lemon to nice tea. Uh. Yeah. All I wanna do is live it up with the homies. Everybody really talking as if they know me. But I guess I gotta face it. I'm so tired of being faceless. I don't want to keep on wasting a life yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm drowning in my head, I'm losing the mind uh -huh. And if you could know, yeah, if I could show you I don't want to keep on living this life so faceless Okay, so this is... The pantry stocked.
those are ready to go in the containers when they are done with these. I still have no rhyme or reason for this. That area is going to be a struggle for me. And this is stuff up here that we don't use a whole lot. Yeah. So faceless. Hello. All right, tonight I'm, I'm making French toast for everyone. Uh, we like to use this kind of bread. I had it in the freezer. I'm gonna make the whole loaf and we'll probably have leftovers one night. French toast, like other people, I literally just put <laughs> eggs cinnamon and vanilla in it because I don't like the milk in it so this is just how I've always made it okay I'm just gonna spray the pan with this this vanilla and just some ground cinnamon and as I make it I will add in more cinnamon and probably more vanilla because I like it cinnamony and vanilla -y. into the pan. Jeff only likes egg whites, so it can get tricky. It's just Sliced cheese. Okay, so this is the kids' food. This is Anna's, Margot's, and Jeffrey. This is my plate. I ended up um, just cooking the leftover egg mixture from the French toast for my eggs. So when I was going ahead and cooking the French toast, I decided I was going to go ahead and make two loaves. And I was just going to basically prep some for breakfast for the week and also breakfast in the future. So I went ahead and put some in a Tupperware to put in the fridge. And I also cut some up and put them in Ziploc freezer bags. So that way we could just pull them out and throw them in a toaster oven for whenever we're ready to have them. Okay, so tonight I am making a Parmesan crusted chicken. I found it on Adeline's. I think that's how you say her name. She's a YouTuber. I will link um, her recipe in the description box down below. And I will also link the video itself in the rest the description box. But these are all of the ingredients that you were going to, including the oil back there. Um, and yeah, so I'm just kind of just bringing you along with me on this. I'm, re I'm hoping this good. It looks delicious. Okay, so for the oil and butter, she doesn't really give amounts. She just says put a bit, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil. 
and I have this bit of stick butter left. It's a little bit. So I'm just going to stick it in there. And I'm going to let that go. I'm going to start working on the egg mixture. She cut the three chicken breast in half to give her six. I only have four, but I'm still going to go by the recipe that she has. Ignore my nails. I dyed my hair today. Those look dirty. They're just stained. I promise. Okay, so two eggs. Okay, she says one clove of garlic. So I'm just going to... And one teaspoon of parsley flakes. And salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so apparently my camera didn't record me like dredging the chicken and um, crusting it with the Parmesan. Um, I, I'm still gonna include this in the What's For Dinner only because it was really good and because she does have a YouTube video of it up, I will just show you everything that I still have of it. But if you're interested in it, um, you just go to her YouTube video and and watch her steps. Um, the only thing that I messed up with is I accidentally grabbed grated Parmesan instead of the shredded. So mine does look different than hers, but it still really was good. Okay, so this is my plate. I have one of the chicken breast and some Brussels sprouts with a salt and pepper on it. And I'm also having a very pathetic salad. It's lettuce, the grated Parmesan cheese, and avocado, and some pepperoncinis. And I'm going to have some of this dressing on it. It's my favorite Italian. Um, haven't tasted it yet. It smells delicious. But mine doesn't look like hers. I'm going to say it's probably because I bought the grated Parmesan instead of the shredded. So, but I doubt it's going to change the taste. So I will let you know in here if, um, like up here, if it was good at all. Okay, tonight for dinner I am doing grilled um, drumsticks. Super simple. I'm going to say it's super simple and I'm not going to be able to pick it up. Because <laughs> you know. That's me. Okay, we are going to be having these rolls with dinner. Okay, so these are the kids' plates. Margot's having two of the drumsticks and a roll and a salad. It's just lettuce with Catalina dressing. And all of the drumsticks, except for mine, I put this on them. Jeff's not big on the dark meat of the chicken, so he got some chicken nuggets, a roll, and the same salad that Margot did. And Anna her normal butter sandwich she got a roll which she will put butter on and then her yogurt and this is my plate I'm having a drumstick a roll leftover Brussels sprouts from last night 
with salt and pepper on it, just like I ate it last night. And my um, drumstick has this on it. Okay, so how I do this is I make the, I mix all of the dry seasonings in and I rub it into the pork roast and then I do all of the wet stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put together the dry seasonings. You need one teaspoon of cumin or a little bit more, teaspoon of chili powder. Black pepper, teaspoon, teaspoon of oregano, fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, not a tablespoon of salt. cloves of garlic. You're just going to rub it in to the meat. And you're going to rub them in as well all over the meat. orange juice half a cup of salsa I probably can get this everywhere and then 12 ounces of beer we like yingling in this on low for eight hours When your pork roast is done cooking, you're going to want to go ahead and shred it. You can either do it in the crock pot. I do take mine out just because I use crock pot liners and I shred it up on a plate. Uh, when you are done shredding it up, you're going to want to put it back in the crock pot and mix it around in the juices. You're going to go ahead and preheat your broiler. While your broiler is preheating, you're going to want to put some foil onto some cookie sheet pans. Um, I'm gonna say this is a step you are not gonna want to um, skip because you are also going to put juices on it. So if you don't do this step, you are gonna have a whole bunch of stuff stick into your pans. And I find that not only does this make it so it doesn't stick, but it helps tremendously on cleanup. So you are gonna wanna place your meat on a very thin layer on each cookie sheet. And I take this opportunity to go ahead and make sure that I take any of the fat out. After spreading your meat out into a thin layer, you're gonna go ahead and put on some of the juices from the crock pot on top, and then you are gonna place them in the oven for 10, 15 minutes underneath the broiler. You are looking for brown, consistent, crispy pieces of meat. This is my husband's plate. He loaded up four tortillas with meat, Monterey Jack cheese, sour cream, salsa, cilantro, and the cilantro lime rice that I made for a side. And this is my plate. I had three tortillas with meat, salsa, sour cream, Monterey Jack cheese, cilantro, and avocado. And I had a side of the cilantro lime rice. This um, cilantro lime rice, I do have a recipe for in my Chipotle chicken video. I will definitely link it in the iCards. 